everybody, it's Coach Vicky again uh, here at Inland Empire Gymnastics Academy from San Bernardino. Uh, today we're going to talk about a straddle shoot. Uh, if you haven't seen any of our videos, this is just the second one. And we are talking to recreational coaches and recreational gymnastics. Okay, so if you're a team coach, this is not really for you. All right, so today we're talking about a straddle shoot. This is what we do here at our gym. We're doing this to try to help anybody that needs help. All right, this is Jo Lynn is gonna help us today. All right, the first thing we do is the position. So we're trying to hold a straddle. Go ahead. Okay, head is in, legs are straight. We're just holding it. We're just getting acquainted with the position. All right, relax. Okay, the second thing we do is we try to jump to that position. Go ahead. All right, relax. Now, she's a team kid, so she did it kind of fancy. When your kids do it, they might start with one foot and then the other foot, and you're trying to encourage them to get both feet on at the same time. All right, our next step is, we're gonna go back to that hanging position. And then from there, we're just gonna kind of push them, kind of like pushing them off a swing set. One, two, three. Okay, so they get used to that little swinging idea. And what I tell them is to stretch the body at the end of it. Cause sometimes in the beginning, they'll just stay in that little pike and land right on their butt. I'll show you that one more time. step would be kind of combining the jump and the swing and push together still with some help. We're going to jump both feet up. Okay, so now they're getting the idea. This is the next stage or one of the other drills that we like to do. So grab the bar. They're just going to start like that and they're going to jump their feet onto a straddle Straighten the legs out and fall. We call this a straddle fall. Go ahead. Good. Now, of course, she's team, so she looks really nice. When your kids do it, they'll probably go one foot first, then the other. Their knees will probably be bent. Their arms will probably be bent. So we need straight arms, straight legs, and encourage them to do both feet at the same time. Can you do it one more time? Good. Now, that drill is gonna get a little more sophisticated, so it's really starting to go towards the cast straddle shoot. And in order to do that, we do this from a push-up position. Just stay in the push-up position. Keep your head straight. Now, the push-up position is actually simulating the end of the cast. So we're doing it from there. Okay, go for it. Head down. Good job. One of the things that you're gonna see when they do this drill is bent arms and bent legs. And you got to tell them to keep pressure on the bar. The pressure on the bar is what will make them swing really nicely. But two issues that we're seeing here is they can't get their legs on the bar and that's because their arms are bent and the bar is close. They need the bar over there so their feet can make it. The other problem is feet fall off the bar feet fall off the bar because you're not putting pressure on the bar. So now they kind of have the concept, but now we really got to get it going and now they got to start swinging on their own. So we start here, but you could also start a little bit lower if the kids are nervous. Panel mat, trapezoid, and a medium box. All right. Stay right there. So again, pressure, and when their feet get on the bar, pressure, and at the end, Extend and stand up. Go ahead. Now, of course, she's a team kid, so she looks kind of nice. Your kids in the beginning, they will have the bent arms and the bent legs and encourage them to put pressure on the bar. Um, then the next step, the last step, is the, the real skill. Cast, straddle on your shoe. Go for it. Now, 
even if you've done all these drills, they're not gonna be able to just get up there and go cast, straddle, shoot, unless you have done some good casting work. Straight arms on the cast. Bent arms on bars just kills everything. Okay, so this is the last drill we're gonna show you. Sometimes you have really small coaches or sometimes you have really big kids and we can't spot them or we need some sort of a step stone to get to where we're going. So we figured this is gonna help us out. So they're sitting here and they're sitting right on the edge. Feet are on the bar, hands are on the bar and they kind of got to scoot to the edge and then just let themselves go. All right, that's one more drill that might help you. Again, that's our whole point here is to help you be a better coach. Bye guys.